Today we're going to recreate um, a form of pop art that was popularized by Andy Warhol. If you Google Andy Warhol, you'll see a lot of pictures of him, and then you'll see a lot of pictures of his most famous works. This one of Marilyn Monroe, I think it was called Marilyn Shots of Marilyn, it sold for $81 million. He has others that have sold for $110 million of Elvis and $100 million. The one of the Campbell Soup Cans is very famous. But if you Google, you'll see some of his more famous portraits and kind of get a feel for what pop art is. He died in the mid-1980s. Um, but He really popularized this type of art and, and brought it mainstream and kind of into the high societies of New York. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to recreate this style. So first you're going to want to choose an image, and of course it needs to be a high-resolution image. Second, you're going to want to use the crop tool. And you want to crop it to 3 inches by 3 inches. Make sure you put inches and not pixels. Then you're going to click this down arrow and go to size and resolution and just make sure that your resolution is set to 200 because we still want it high resolution. And then you'll hit OK. All right, and then from there you can kind of resize and reposition your image. So you want kind of the main subject to be front and center. So I'm going to do like this. And then I'll just double click my hand to bring it full size again. Okay, now that you have the image three inches by three inches, we can start to um, kind of colorize it. All right, the first thing you want to do if you don't have a black and white image is to make this black and white. So let's go to image adjustments, black and white, and then hit OK. Okay, it's kind of a dull black and white, so now what we're going to do is adjust the levels. And you know in the past we have used the adjustment layers and that's really good to do because you can undo it if you want to but in this case just to simplify things we're going to do it directly on the image so let's do image adjustments and now we'll go to levels and now we're going to make it more of a crisp image so you kind of adjust we don't want to lose features so don't do it this far but kind of brighten up the image and then you want to add contrast Kind of play around with these levels until you get a good contrast. Hit OK. OK, now we're going to start to colorize. So you're going to make a blank layer. And we want this blank layer mode to be multiply. So you're going to change this to multiply. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint on this layer with a gray color. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get the perfect gray. If you'll click on these two squares, which are your default colors, it's going to change it to your default black and white. And you can click on the black square. And the B right here stands for brightness. Change the brightness to 50%, and it'll be gray. I'm going to switch it and do it with the white just to show you how it can be done either way. So if you click on the white, the brightness is currently 100%. You can just change it to 50%, and it'll be the same color. So as long as the brightness is 50% of black or white, you're going to have the right color. Okay, now what you're going to do is get a paintbrush, and we don't want this to be a feathery paintbrush. You want solid edges, so I'm going to choose the second one. And I'm going to use my bracket keys, or you can do this if you're more comfortable with this. You can bracket up or down. And what we're going to do is paint the background. Get, like, on the hair or on the clothes or whatever. It's okay because we're going to put some other things on top of it. And you can clean it up and erase layer. Okay, now that I've got the background painted, I'm going to add another blank layer, change it to multiply, and I'm going to paint all of the skin. Again, we're probably going to have to clean this up later. Only thing I would caution you against um, painting over is the whites of the eyes and the teeth. Okay, now we're going to add another blank layer, change it to multiply, and I'm going to paint some eyeshadow. Okay, we'll add another layer, change it to multiply, and we'll do a little lips. Remember, we need a new layer for each thing, so we're going to add another layer. 
multiply. I'm going to get her eyes. New layer, multiply. But we're going to start down on layer one. What you'll do is you'll go to Image Adjustments Hue Saturation. You're going to change this to Colorize. You can increase the saturation. And then you're going to pick a hue that you like. Okay, next we're going to go to the skin layer. So Image Adjustments Hue Saturation. Change it to Colorize. I'm going to increase the lightness on this one. Okay, so now that I've got this done, I can see areas where I need to erase. So I'm going to go back on this blue layer and choose my eraser tool. And I might have to zoom in a good bit. What I do want you to notice is that you can always take away by using the eraser tool, but you can't add back once you've done this hue saturation. If I wanted to add more skin color here and I use the paintbrush on gray, it's going to paint gray. Okay, so you're not, you can't do that. So when in doubt, paint more than you need, and then you can go back and clean it up later. Okay, once you're satisfied with your picture, what we're going to do is merge all of these layers. So you can just go to Layer, Flatten Image. It's at the bottom. It makes it into one layer. And remember, this is three by three. So what we're going to do is we're going to put four on a page. So we're going to make a new document. File, New. And this one we want to be, you can just call it Pop Art. Whoops. And then make it six inches by six inches. All right, so we can go back, grab our Move tool. Move her over here, and then copy it four times. Control J. Oops, let me hit the check mark. Control J. Four times, and we can move each layer. Should fit perfectly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a hue saturation on each layer. Start with the top one. Image adjustments hue saturation, and on this one you don't colorize. We're just going to change the hue. Okay, and then when you're finished and you like the way it looks, save it as a JPEG and you will upload it to this week's assignment.